Nini Yang here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pocket die when you want to use a certain design from your paper. The part that takes a little thinking is where you're going to cut for your front panel. I'm going to make pockets from 3x4 journaling cards in this video. Like how we're going to die cut into the paper, I'm going to put the die blade side down when I'm deciding where to cut. We can have the focal in the upper portion of the pocket or lower portion of the pocket. Let's see how to do them. If you are going to use the design at the top of your pocket, you'll need to put the short flap at the bottom, like so. This way you don't need to worry about cutting away the short flap from the front panel. But if I'm going to use the same position for the dear paper here, I don't have enough room for the short flap. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Move to the left a little so I can have enough paper for the right flap. I'll show you how to fix this position with the back panel later. And then I'm going to use an opening die to die cut away the short flap from the front panel. You can see how to do that in my previous video. For the third pocket, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to leave the die sticking out from the paper so I can have more of the back panel show off. See, I want to have more of the cool background paper on the pocket. Now I'm going to die cut the panels out and then come back to show you how to assemble them. Now I have deck up my front panels. You'll see clearly that there are score lines and where you'll need to fold. And for front panels, we're always going to fold the flaps to the back. You can leave the short flap on the front panel as this, but I'm going to cut it off with an opening die. Now I'm back with an opening cut from the front panel. I actually used the opening twice because I decided that it would look better to have the opening in a lower position. Now just use my scissors to slip off the little extra piece. I'm actually thinking that this little extra piece will make a good accent for a project, but I'll worry about it later. Now, let's fold it. Remember, for front panels, we're always going to fold the flap to the back. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. Fold the flaps to the back. Now I have die cut three back panels from pattern paper that doesn't have a certain direction. As you can see on the first panel here, the front panel has flaps on the left and bottom, so our back panel will have flaps on the top and right. And instead of folding the flaps to the back, we're going to fold it to the front. The scroll line there can be folded either to the back or to the front. They're all very easy to fold. And now we can form our pocket. I didn't fold the top flap on the back panel because I want to have the little extra color contrast. See, this is how we form a pocket. Now all we need to do is to add adhesive to the flaps and adhere them together. In fact, if you want to have a certain design on your back panel, there's still a way to do it. Just when you die cut your front panel in a certain position, just rotate the die 180 degrees to cut your back panel. This way you will see exactly where you are cutting into. It's the same on the other two pockets. It doesn't matter how you cut your front panel, just remember to rotate the die 180 degrees to cut your back panel. This pocket is a little different from the others. Because we have die cutting opening and a lower position from the front panel, part of the back panel flap will show through. So what we're gonna do is to slip it off with our scissors. Same thing on the other side, that part of the front panel flap is showing through. Just cut in an 
and go. Easy, right? Now we have our pocket with a big opening on the front. Same thing on the last pocket. Just fold the flaps on the front panel to the back and fold the long flap on the back panel to the front and leave the short flap on the back panel open so we can have the color contrast. And this is how you make a vertical pocket. I hope my explanation is clearer in this video and you'll have tons of fun making pockets. You can find how to make a horizontal pocket in a different video. I'll link it in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye!